Hello pilots and ground crew, welcome back to my channel. Not too long ago I'd made a video about updating the Tango 2, putting a new board in it to get 500 milliwatts, well you get one watt now, or putting a module bay on the back. I, well, I've received an email off a young lad, and I say young lad because he says in his email he's only 13, started flying FPV last year and he loves it. And it was about that video, he can is up he's put the he's sorted his board out he's updated his agent x but he was confused with the sd card and asked me to basically do a super simple explanation of how to update the sd card so i said i would so let's uh, get to it then right the easiest way is to as silly as it sounds is to take your sd card out of your transmitter take the back off take your sd card out the full process goes quicker because you've got thousands of files to transfer but if you don't want to mess about like that simply plug your usb into your transmitter into your computer and on your screen it will say storage slash sd click on that and you will see this information pop up let me just check some out here. Yep, just start to check some out. Yeah, you'll see this information pop up, your SD card information. Now, I recommend you making a copy of this just in case something goes wrong. There's, I, I've got copies of all the transmitters and software and stuff like that. It's worth making a copy, but don't want to get too technical and confusing here. Opening this file, you'll see here, these are important things that you need to take off your sd card that's on your transmitter and you're going to put it onto your, your new software we'll go through it one step at a time because he asked me to explain it simple because he got confused with the other we're just making or made a backup folder here now the first one you're going to crossfire all right and yeah eeprom.bin simply move it into that empty folder okay and come back out and then go into radio and both of them files models and radio bin move them both to your folder and i missed but we'll just close that a minute go back i missed my folder there you go and the last one was your models move your models into your spare folder okay right so you've done what you needed to do you've mo you've gone into crossfire you've moved that eep rom dot bin you've gone into your radio you moved the radio bin and the models text and you've moved the entire models folder and you've got all them right here in a spare folder which you're going to use in a minute all right just close that again because i'm trying to do it real slow and keeping it super simple all right now at this point of your rear this is your sd information still on your transmitter okay you want to delete everything on there don't close it just delete everything on there which we'll do in one go all right so now you've got nothing there you go you've got nothing on your transmitter on the sd card on in your transmitter don't close it just move it to one side okay and yes i like seven of nine now go to tango tango go to tbs website Oh, that's not working. I've made a shortcut as well. Can't show. Is it? Ah, here we go. Loading both. Go to your TBS website if it will ever open up for me. Okay, man. Thank you. Find your Tango 2. Right, you won't come straight to this page. Like I said, I've made a shortcut. Find your Tango 2. Scroll down. There you go. And here's your SD card downloads. You will want the latest version. Tango 2 SD controller. 
and it's for Freedom TX 1.2. You will want that. Simply click on it, download it. Right, I've already done that, so we'll come back to here, and it's here. Right, if I open that up, right, and open the folder inside, and you'll see there. Oops, did not mean to do that. Just move that down. Just move that. Where is that folder? Just ignore me a second. I'm just moving stuff around so you can see everything. Right now, this is the software we've just downloaded right, from the TBS website. Now, that folder we made the copies of, remember, going to open that up. Right, and I'm going to move everything into here. So, if we open Crossfire up, we got that EE p rom dot bin from there so we're going to move that into there okay man this is why i said it's easier if you take the sd card out yeah there you go all right i mean quicker if you take the sd card out all right come back now remember this is still what you've downloaded your new stuff all right Go into radios, right, and you need to put the model text very slow, and the radio text I'll sing a song in a minute. Uh, that stopped you, didn't it? Right, and now models, right, you can hear. Delete models because you've got your own models you backed up here, which we're going to put in. There you go. And now your models folder that you moved with all your models in, put that in. And now you can exit from that folder where your backups was. And now this is what you've downloaded from TBS. And you put all that stuff you took out of your original SD card, you put it back into here. Okay, on this side, this is your SD card inside your Tango 2, which you've deleted everything now. And the important parts you've moved over here. Then all you have to do is copy every single thing on there and move it over to your sd card that's actually in your tango 2. all right that's all you have to do now this if your tango 2 is plugged in this will take a long time because there are literally over 2000 odd files because i'm using the sd card straight into the computer it's going quite quick and we'll just sing a song sit here just wait for it <laughs> dead air they call it on the radio don't they it's got dead air somebody say something done right now this side was what we downloaded from TBS. Can close that. Don't even need this anymore now. That's ah, gone. Completely gone. Don't need it. Alright. This is what's on your SD card now. That is in your Tango 2. In other words. You're done. And that's all there is to it. That's how you update your SD card on the Tango 2. So there you go then. Uh, Kieran, that was his name, Kieran. <laughs> I should have mentioned that at the beginning, the young lad, Kieran. But there, there you go. And if if I went too fast in parts, because I know you're a young lad, right? But uh, just watch it again and again. It, I, I don't want to actually tell you what to do now. I don't want to say, well, first of all, you do download this, then you go to the because then you start getting more confusing. I've just shown you how to do it, just one step at a time, 
right if you have any more problems if you leave us a comment or you've got you've sort of, just send us another email kieran and uh, i'll be happy to either talk you through it again or make another video <laughs> right well i won't make another video showing the same thing because that looks pretty straightforward to me let me just come out of there and come out of there yeah so uh maybe this will help somebody else if they're having any trouble too because i think the problem the way it was explained to me or the way kieran explained it was having to take some files off your sd card and putting them onto another well not another sd card putting them onto the new software and then putting all that software back onto your sd card i think he was thinking why do i have to t was was he making a mistake taking one off to put another one on and it does seem strange you're taking it off and then you're putting it back again but you're putting it back with different software the new software that you downloaded from tbs the updated software or firmware or whatever you want to call it but yeah so there you go kieran so i hope this helps and like i said if you have any more questions i whether it be to do with the sd card or not but uh you've got my email so as everybody else it's in my bloody thingy but just drop us another email and i'll be happy to try and go through anything else with you okay then uh, pilots and ground crew and if this helps anybody else great right then uh, i'll leave it there and simply say what i always say cheers